In today's video, I'm going to show you how to track someone on Zangi. Before getting started, let me first mention that tracking someone on Zangi Messenger without their consent is a violation of privacy and likely against legal and ethical standards. However, Zangi does offer a feature like location sharing, which can be used mutually and with consent to share locations with friends or family. If you want to track someone on Zangi, first of all, the person you are trying to track must open up their Zangi application on their device. Make sure that they are logged into their account. Once they are, ask them to open up your conversation thread when you and the other person is involved. Once they do that, ask them to tap on the plus button at the bottom right corner. In the pop-up, ask them to tap on the location button. Soon after they do that, they can allow the location access by tapping on either allow once or allow by using app and they will then be able to share you their location. Ask them to tap on the send correct location button and then you will then be able to track the person's location. Tracking locations in Zangi will also help you ensure the safety of loved ones by knowing their whereabouts in emergencies. It can be used for providing peace of mind during travel or outdoor activities. So that is how you can easily track someone on Zangi. I hope the video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Press on the bell icon so that you'll never miss out another upcoming upload from us. I will be back again in the next episode. Thank you for watching.